So you just need to know how to mask in ZBrush. Not a problem. Activate the mask pen by holding down control and left clicking on the model. Anything that is masked is protected from being changed or affected by your tools. Unmask by holding down control and alt before you left click. If you hold down control while clicking on empty canvas, you will invert the selection. And if you hold down control and left click on a masked area, you will blur the mask. If you hold control and alt before left clicking on a masked area, you will sharpen the mask instead. Control plus drag select on empty canvas to clear the selection and if you hold control and left click drag on empty canvas Then press control again. You will hide all polygons outside of the selection If you do the same thing and hold alt you will only hide the polygons in the selection If you hold control and drag select on empty canvas and press the space bar You can move the selection manually and release left click to select the area and as usual if you hold alt during the process It will select the opposite of the selection if you need your mask to be a specific shape shape, you can go to alpha and download or pick a different shape. When you mask now, it will mask in that shape. Or if you control and drag select out here and press the space bar, you can paste your mask shape like so. If you want to drag the mask directly onto your shape though, change dots to drag select and now when you left click, you will have total control over where and what angle the mask shape is applied. How strong the mask fades out is dependent on your brush's focal shift. So a high focal fades a lot and a low focal doesn't fade at all. There are several different types of mask brushes. If you need to make a specific curve shape with a mask, you can use the mask curve. From here, when you hold control, you'll draw a line. Everything on this side will be masked. If you hold control and tap alt, you'll be able to change the direction of the curve. And if you double tap alt, you'll form a sharp edge instead of a curve. And like all things, if you hold alt when you do this, it'll mask the opposite side instead. Another extremely popular brush is the lasso. While holding control, this is a great way to quickly grab big chunks of areas. And again, if you hold alt, it will select the opposite. There are other default shape brushes that you can pick like a square and circle, but they essentially function the same way. Everything that we've covered can be found manually in the mask and menu on the right side. From here, something interesting that you can do is mask by action. If you want to mask what you just did, click mask change points. And you can even do this for things back in time in the undo bar. If you want to mask all the actions you did from this point, hold control and left click. Then move the undo back to the end and hit mask change. It will mask all the work you did between this event and this one. Now you probably already know kind of how masks work, but here's a tip that I learned from a pro. Let's say you want to change the proportions of a character. Let's say you want her legs to be a little longer. If you mask and then use the gizmo to move the rest of the points, it looks pretty bad and you'll have to spend a lot of time cleaning up the issues. But if you blur the mask a little before moving with the gizmo, you'll get real smooth transitions between the masked and unmasked areas. This is also a great technique if you need to pose parts of your model in different directions while keeping the bends smooth. Last thing I'd like to point out is masking also applies when polishing features. So for example, if you have a cloth with a sharp edge like this scarf and you polish the features, it's going to make everything smoother, but you'll also lose the sharp edges, which you might want to keep. If this is the case and you want to polish without losing these edges, just mask the edges before polishing features and you're good to go. Anyway, those are the most important things that I thought you needed to know about masking. Hope that helps and as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.